американских школах преподают да, первокурсникам, 6-7-летним первоклассникам, да, что оказывается есть 72 э, пола. Не просто, например... There are some people on Twitter that are now saying, oh, look, uh, Russia, very strong. Uh, people in Russia, they get to have free speech. They talk about whatever they want. I generally like, do not understand why these people do not know the old communist joke where an American goes to a Russian and say, hey, you know what? We got free speech in America. Like, we can criticize the president, we can criticize the U.S. government, and we can criticize our politicians. To which the Russian says, Oh, but that means we have free speech in Russia as well. We too can criticize the American president, the American politicians, and the American uh, military. I mean, it's pretty much that, right? Like, if you go into Russia, you can say whatever shit you want about the West. Like, you're not going to get fired. There's no repercussions. So, of course, like, people are going to say whatever they want. But, like, go in Russia and talk uh, that you're against the war in Ukraine. See how that works out. You know, at least here in the West, you get fired. But, like, in Russia, you get arrested. So, it's not really the same, by the way. Now, the reason that I made this video is that the gentleman in question is uh, by the name of Viktor Baut. Now, even I from Romania have heard about him. Uh, he is called the Merchant of Death. He had a 60-minute episode dedicated to him. There was like a CIA chief, if I remember correctly, coming up and explaining to me what a bad, bad, bad man Viktor Baut is. And I believe him. I got no, no reason not to. You know, like apparently he was the most wanted person in the world. He trafficked weapons, uh, he spread the Second Amendment, as people like to joke on Twitter. You know, he's, he's legitimately like a bad gentleman. So, apparently, there was a prisoner transfer between the United States and Russia, and uh, Victor Bout got out. And I was like, okay, well, I, I guess they got like five people for him, right? Like, they must have gotten like six people. They, they must have gotten some Navy SEAL or, or some... Uh, you know, James Bond figure. No, apparently, they got this lady that I have never heard about her before. And apparently, like, she's really important. She got the gold for the United States. Yeah, but, like, she's playing basketball, all right? Like, how many people watch basketball? And, and she actually did the crime. Like, it's not like this was a <coughs> person that, that did an oopsie. No, like, she carried, apparently, marijuana in a, in a vaping thing, right? Like she had marijuana with vaping. And she carried it into Russia. Like, here in Eastern Europe, it's not just Russia. Like, here in Eastern Europe, we tr take drugs very seriously. Right? Like, I, I know in America, it's like, oh, they like to racial profile. No, like, here, it, it, it's nasty. Like, when I grew up, I didn't know a single person that did drugs. I'm not saying they don't exist, but it's such a rare thing that you generally don't hear about it because the punishment for doing this is very, very strict. Right? So, on top of that, the prisons are very, very bad. I don't know how American prisons are where they allow you to check. Do you want halal meat? Do, do you, are you vegan? Are you like, do you want it? No, like here in Romania, prisons are really, really bad. You get like six or, or seven people locked up in a room and you get the slop that you get and you shut the fuck up. And you pray that you survive the next day, right? So uh, it, it's by design so that people don't want to go to prison, right? So when this lady goes to Russia, fucks up, she gets sent into a gulag. Now, Apparently, she had to be rescued. And what I don't get is, like, why is she so happy about it? Like, this should be, like, something like, you know what? We rescued you because you brought the gold medal to the United States. But, oh, fuck, we had to free Victor Bob. Like, it, it should be a little bit more of a, you know, uh, less cordial reunion. The, you, you, and, but, but anyway, right, like, whatever. That, that's not neither here nor there. A lot of people on Twitter are complaining that there was another prisoner... Um, by the name of, uh, Paul Whelan. Now, <clears throat> this lady, the basketball player, apparently she believes that America is a systemic racist country, uh, very, very problematic, very, very bad name, bad, bad, America bad, right? Uh, meanwhile, this gentleman, Paul Whelan, apparently was, uh, an ex-Marine, uh, police officer, I, I don't know, like, but, but he was, like, a patriot, right? And he was arrested into Russia, and instead of getting him out, which apparently the government is now negotiating, right? Like, he, he is numero do. Like, for the systemic racist America, he is numero do. Um, they, they got this lady out. But, but like, to put salt on the wound, like, I, I want you to understand the absolute state that we're in. His own brother, right, is happy that he didn't get freed. What, what did Paul Whelan 
do to his brother when they were kids? This is what I want to know. Like, what what did you do to your brother in order for him to come out and say something like this? Either, either that or maybe Paul Willis brother. Hey, like, blink twice if Hillary Clinton is behind the camera. Like, what 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 is happening? How can you say something like this? Of course, you know, like, now the media is getting water. It's like, oh, well, if he's happy, everyone should be pleased. Like, shut the fuck up. I, I genuinely, like, do not understand. I, like, I don't care about Victor Bout, all right? Like, I, I don't even think that he's going to return to his criminal activities. I think, but but he's going to be used as a propaganda piece, as we saw in the previous interview, to shit on the West, right? Uh, but I was told by the mainstream media, like, like they spent so many resources to tell me that he is a bad, 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 bad man. And I believe him. I, I, I don't know what he did, but he's a bad man. Why is he free? <laughs> like, if he's so bad, why is he free? And why did you get an exchange? That, that's the question that people should be asking, right? So, it is a, a controversy. Yeah, that, that's what it is. A car- and many people are like, oh, well, why didn't Trump do it? It's like, look, the way scandals work, most people don't talk about these things until they're brought up. Like, I'm pretty sure there's a thousand injustices going on right now. But I just don't know about them. Like, I would probably be outraged. Yeah, like, if Donald Trump did prisoners' exchanges and, you know, he, he bypassed a, a Marine, if I was an American, I would have probably been upset. But, like, I just didn't know about it. You know, like, if you don't talk about it, I probably don't know. Again, thousands of injustices can happen right fucking now. But I don't know about that. I would be outraged if I did. I would make a video, but I like I don't. When I find out, I'll talk about it. So in this particular situation, this is why right wingers are upset. It's not like, oh, why weren't you upset when Trump did it? Because like he didn't did as far as we know, like he didn't do prisoner exchanges. And if he did, it wasn't in the papers. It wasn't made uh, prime time news, and it probably wasn't prime time news because they weren't such high value targets, right? Like he didn't release the Victor Bout. Jesus. I mean, I'm curious if in a fictional reality where Osama was in prison and you have a famous athlete that travels uh, to a Middle Eastern country and gets arrested there, would they do the prisoner exchange for Osama? I'm, I'm legitimately curious. Like, I, I, I am, I'm literally curious if the answer is yes. And if not, why not? <laughs> why not? This, this is so bizarre, isn't it, right? So, apparently America is probably still a systemic racist car. I'm really curious to know the opinions of this lady now about the United States, like uh, what what is her name? Uh, uh, Greener, right? Like Gr- Griner, Gr- Greener, Brittany, Brittany. I'm really curious to know Brittany's opinions on the United States. Like, uh, is she still going to say that the the national anthem is problematic? I'm really curious. Like, no, seriously. Like, I want to know if this is a life altering experience for her, or or if it's like still the same. It's, like, it's so bizarre. It, it, it's absolutely bewildering, isn't it? So, the, the the interesting thing is that she wasn't even arrested for no reason. Like, for example, remember when Canada arrested that uh, Chinese lady? I think she was um, involved with Huawei, right? So, Canada arrests her, and then the Chinese government, in retaliation, arrests two Canadian citizens. Now, everyone knows that the arrest was bullshit, And everyone knows that they were being kept in poor conditions specifically as a way to blackmail the Canadians to like, hey, let our lady go. Let Mulan go. You know, like, I I get that. But this wasn't the case here. Like, she she went with marijuana. Like, how, how difficult is it? Like, not to at least check. The the type of items you are allowed to carry when traveling into a foreign nation. I mean, like, if I travel to Qatar, the first thing that I would do is, like, I would check, okay, what am I allowed to have? Like, because Qatar is a little bit different than the place where I live. Oh, you're not allowed to have alcohol. Okay, well, I'm not carrying alcohol. Like, you ask. You fucking ask at the airport. It's not that hard. So bizarre, you know? I mean, like, you can get in trouble with that shit. But anyway, it is what it is. And, uh, uh, apparently, you know, America is systemically racist. I'm curious if Russia is systemically racist as well. I, I want to know the country that isn't systemically. Is there such a nation on Earth? I want to know which one is it. Like, what is the beacon? What is the model? What What is the uh, the country that we can shape the rest of the nations after, huh? Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.